Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I've got kind of a mystery solved and a highlight a pair of small linemans, at least a company calls them linemans. Now when I did a video uh, on this old Klein, I had mentioned this um, kind of unique shape it's got at the bottom. And a lot of, you know, under the pivot, and a lot of uh, players have something like that if they're in the lineman family. Now, my question originally was kind of what makes a lineman, and it seems you got to have, you know, a thick cross-hatched front end, big set of side cutters here, and then this thing down here. And the question was, what is that thing for? And I finally found out, um, and it's uh, kind of uneventful, and we'll go ahead and try it. Now, uh, Home Depot, years ago, um, I think that's where I got these, these Greenly big old linemans, but uh, they're slowly loosening up over time. They were an inexpensive brand from, for Home Depot, but here's the new inexpensive brand. This is um, what is called Commercial Electric, and I noticed that they're held in kind of prominence next to the Milwaukee's and the few Kleins that are still available, at least in the Home Depot I stopped by. Um, they are fairly smooth. Uh, in they're, they're really stiff at the far end and closed, which is kind of odd. It's like there must be some kind of a swoop in the um, the pivot. And then right in the middle, right here, there's a little bit of play. They're about 17 bucks, but they are advertised as a new, new plier for Home Depot, and they are a lineman wire cutting plier. That is what they are called, and they're in that seven inch frame. Um, this is, I just love this one. It's one of the old linemans, even says lineman on it. They don't do that anymore. This is really close, but it doesn't have that magical feature down here, you know, like the real linemans do. But this one does. It doesn't have a whole lot going on in there. You know, you can see that there is a bit of, I don't know, I guess that's a grooving, texturing. We can get that to focus in there. Uh, or maybe they just left it. I don't know, but it's certainly not that snap-on one. Check that out. You know, or the Klein, which is obvious. This doesn't have much going on, just bare. If you go up to this big old Klein here, uh, it, it too is bare, but I'm, I don't know if that really matters, actually, for the feature. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this one thinks it's a lineman, brands itself as a lineman. It's Milwaukee's competition, I guess, within the Home Depot environment. But what is this thing for? It's a wire stripper. Seriously? A wire stripper? But it works a little bit differently than you might expect. It's old. It's an old school design. You know, imagine the, the 50s, 40s even. You know, you go much below the 30s and you don't really need to strip a lot of wires. But um, So if you have a wire like this, this is solid copper, it could work probably with... Um, I would guess some aluminum wire as well, but the way this thing works is you simply push or put the um, the wire in there and smash it and smash it again, smash it a couple of different directions. And what you're doing is you're basically breaking the insulation and then you pull it off. There you go. And you're thinking, God, you can do that with anything. Yeah, that's right. You can do it with anything. That's why it was so uneventful. But you're probably wondering, you know, where did I hear about that? Well, believe it or not, I was watching on a rainy afternoon one of those uh, 1940s periscope films on how to use hand tools. And they had the lineman plier or the, the heavy plier, I don't even know what they had a name for it, and they had they were showing the features of it, and there were three features. There was the grabbing cross-hatched front end, the big wire cutters, and then the wire stripper right there. And as you can see, it does in fact work. If I smash it once, you know, I could grab it and twist, not quite as good. Um, if I smash it a couple of times, you know, or even try to spin it or something, you can find out how it works best on the uh, type of insulation. But the problem is I think we got better insulation these days. It's a little different than what it was before. Um, but if you just smash that, and it takes a bit because you're using the wire kind of against itself. Um, you know, if I crush that, probably electricians are wincing thinking, oh, don't do that to the wire. 
but if I could smash it a couple of times here and then you can see that just it look it just falls off so there you go that's what this thing is for a wire stripper does it work on this one on the just the, the plain old one let's try it if I just smash it look at that look at that there you go so if you're ever stuck on a deserted island, I don't know if you could see that I wasn't even watching do another one here just crush it under there, smash, and then peel it off. There you go. If you're ever stuck on a deserted island and you need to do some wiring and you don't have a stripper. Now, how, about, how does it work on small stuff? Well, let's see. Got some tiny little wire here. Um, I don't know if that one's going to be tight enough. Nope. That one's too big. That might be too big still. But... That's still too big. That's too big. So I think we're out of luck there. Maybe you have to go to the great big ones. Smash that. Look at that. There. Should be able to peel it back now with my fingers. There you go. So now you got a wire stripper. Pretty cool. Oh, let's try it. One more big one here, maybe. See what happens with this stuff. Um, I'm going to use the snap on one. Snap off that. And now let's go ahead and strip this. Ready? Here we go. Might have to strip it a little lower. I don't know, how's that working? Eh. Hmm. Okay, for heavy gauge stranded wire, it's probably not the best. So, fail there. Try the big clients, maybe they've got it dialed in. Uh, I think the insulation here is probably a little too good. But anyway, certainly works well on, uh, on these kinds of things. So next time you need a wire stripper, there you go. Just smash it and break the insulation off. You know, we kind of have been doing this unintentionally forever. But there's a... Eh, it's harder on these big ones. But anyway, so there it is. The Commercial Electric 7-inch Lineman Plier at Home Depot. So if you need a real lineman, there you go. And with that, Doc out.